So I recently had some people asking me, does this Vivor electric melting furnace melt brass? Well guys, in today's video, we're gonna find out. So this is the crucible I use for aluminum. It's quite tall. It basically reaches the bottom of the furnace. This is a smaller crucible that I'm going to use for brass today. And you can see the height difference. Normally these furnaces don't heat up very well with shallow crucibles. I have a bunch of scrap brass that was given to me a while back. These will fit perfectly inside of this little crucible. I don't know what alloy brass these are, if they're bronze or if they're brass. I'm not really sure, but we're going to find out today if they will melt inside of this Vivor electric furnace. So before I load the crucible into the furnace, I'm just going to load these rings inside of it first. Then I'll just place the crucible loaded into the furnace. This furnace is not like other furnaces. Just turning the power on does not heat up the furnace. You actually have to press the P and the U button. And once you see the equal sign next to the number, that means the furnace is heating up. So we have reached 932 degrees Celsius. It's been about a half an hour. It does look like the bottom may be molten, but I'm gonna close it and wait a little bit longer to let it get hotter and find out. 1039 degrees Celsius, and we can see now that it has started lowering inside the crucible, which means it is melting. So we're gonna add some more rings to the crucible and melt them down. The crucible is fully molten and it's now time to do our first pour. Now I didn't film it, but I'm all set up for a second pour and I loaded more of those rings inside of the crucible. So we're gonna wait a little bit longer and do a second pour. So we have now confirmed that the Vivor electric melting furnace does melt down brass. So now I'm just going to pull out my scale and get a weight on these nice ingots. We have 1.952 pounds of solid brass. I'm glad you stuck around to the end of the video because as you know, I am trying to make a good Minecraft sword. And this was just the test pour. So last time when I cast that, I used a soup can that has a hole cut in the bottom. And this was used to store the molten metal as it burned the foam. But unfortunately, it just isn't big enough. And I overflowed the can and spilled molten aluminum all over my driveway. But I had a great idea. And that's to use an old crucible and cut off the bottom. Because this is the same size as the crucible I'm using and it will definitely hold enough aluminum 
to fill out the pattern. So make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and stay tuned for that video. I will see you then.